Hey, welcome to No Carnival Parking, number 41. My name is Clint Esposito. Um, I just happen to be on all these podcasts because I produce them. Otherwise, <laughs> not that important at all. Uh, tonight, we got uh, with me Victor Sedeno. Hello. Or Manuel. Manuel on Facebook. Manuel. V- Victor's sorry. not allowed on Facebook anymore. Victor's it's just not Manuel. on Facebook. Facebook man well Sedeno is now on Facebook it's uh Vic's um Facebook alter ego <laughs> he's the nicer me uh yeah he, he goes with the he goes with the official story he doesn't write things that are against the community guidelines no, 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 no. Okay. he goes with the official story right. yeah, yeah, yeah. he believes he believes in everything very good and tonight with us we got a very special guest um it's been a little while since he's been in here the legendary Chips Cooney Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's been a long time. You actually have smoke coming out of your breath from the ice cream and how cold it is. <laughs> he's eating ice cream and it's cold, and he's got the the frost breath. You look like you're in a freezer. It's nice to be here with the, my two friends here. I miss working with them with all this uh, virus going on, and. Uh, well, when this is over, things are going to be better than when they were. I like that. It's the truth. Mm-hmm. You're live hope. on Twitter right now. Do you know that? It's hope. I don't even know what Twitter is. Well, you're on it, bro. That's where Barry Ribs lives. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Barry Ribs. Barry and Bob Levy Barry both Ribs live and on Bob Twitter. Levy. They Twitter. both live on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know them so much from just Twitter. I mean, I see it on my computer, but I never go on it. No, you don't want to go on there. It's a don't cesspool. go on there. It's a cesspool. Are it'll, you? It'll a, ruin you. Are you a? Um, are you into politics? Me? Yeah. No. Don't go on there. Chips is not into anything I'm that stresses into him no out. Politics. Anything that stresses him out, Chips is not interested. I am, they, all, they all lie. Mm-hmm. He's trying to get vote. I don't. I don't even know who's the president now. Good. The Does last, anybody? Well, the last president I liked, and th- I thought he was helping the country out <clears throat> a lot, was uh, Kennedy. Mm. And uh, he did a. Yeah. Then they got rid of him because he was helping out <laughs> too much. <laughs> you did good by ignoring everybody else after that. Everybody else after that was just a fucking waste. That's the secret to life, ladies and gentlemen. Trips Cooney is telling you right now the secret to life is just to not. Pay attention to the stupid shit, the shit that's annoying. That's the opposite of what I'm doing. Chips is the right way to do it where he's just not paying attention. Things I'm aren't. not paying attention. I yeah. liked uh, Clinton because he smoked pot. Yeah, yeah. And that's about as far as it went. He did play a mean saxophone. Well, I don't know if it was John Coltrane <laughs> or, <something laughs> or anything no, like was, that. But Jesus. It, was o- it was only good for Saturday Night Live. That was it. Well, he played at the White House. He did? Yeah. I don't remember. You know, in the eighties, he got he got uh, sexual relations because of it. So hell yeah! Can you imagine that? That's how he got Hillary with that sax. With Saw that sax. sax, and she's like, "This guy fucks." <laughs> he, he was. He got. I can't believe he. Mo, Lewinsky. Lewinsky in the White House. Can you imagine when he got home and his wife? Oh. You asshole! <laughs> what did you do? Do you she think she even cared? To. She probably didn't she, even care. Yeah, you know it was more cared. like it was more like you are hurting she, our image. She's, <laughs> she's, she's she was mad he got caught. Man. Yeah, she was mad he got caught. That's it. Yeah. She didn't care about anything else before. Yeah. Have you ever you watch House of Cards? Um, I didn't finish it, but yeah, I did watch. Um, that's quite a bit of it. I, that's what I feel like. Bill and Hillary were. Yeah, for we're sure. We're just like where the, where she doesn't care. like they're just together because it's it's. It's, well, it's like know. a good partnership, you know? You're just surmising. You, you don't know for sure. Nobody I have no knows. Idea. No. Chips, you don't know. I don't know either. That's the better. I'm telling you, Chips has it nailed down. It's just better to say, I don't know. I don't and not know. give a fuck. All yeah. right. We are live on Facebook. Oh, shit. Um, Twitch, uh, Twitter, we're live on Twitch, too. I don't think Twitter is working out as well. Which, as uh, Twitch? Twitch is actually a gaming uh, platform. Is that like this here, Twitch? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. 
That's exactly what it is. There's actually a dirt bike rider that has Tourette's that has the nickname Twitch. And he rides and he does that. Does he? He shakes his head. Is that part of his, like, gimmick? I guess so, yeah. I'm freezing up here. They call him Twitch? Yeah. Yep. Well, can you see that when you're doing 60 miles an hour and a flip um, on a fucking thing? So if you pay attention to him, he twitches wh- when he's like riding away from the ramp or whatever. But when he actually locks in to go to focus to hit the ramp, he doesn't do it. So it's when he's chilling and yeah. just talking. He's yeah. Like, yeah. Like when he's locked <laughs> yeah. in, yep. racing, no twitch. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Fucking brain waves. Yeah. Yeah, you're too focused for your... I wonder if that happens to t- like people with Tourette's. Probably, you know, if you got them focused in enough. Um, Do you ever know anybody with Tourette's trip? I don't even know what the hell that means. That's when people just I'm like "fuck you" and they just like yeah, they just yell stuff out. They can't control and they just yell like vulgar language. Is that a disease? I don't know. It's a condition. Um, it's a condition. Yeah, that's a interesting it's a condition. question. What is that exactly? Let's look it up. Here we go. <laughs> I'm Young Jamie. You know, what up, Ness Boogie? I'm live on Instagram. What exactly is that? I got two new. I get two new books coming out. If get out of here. Interested? You wrote them? Yeah, one's a double date with Ted Bundy. <laughs> a double date with Ted Bundy? Double dating with Ted Bundy and having dinner with uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer. If anybody was interested That's amazing. in they, him. Where are they at? You don't Borders? know who they are, do you? No, I know who they are. And I said, where are they at? Where where can I get the books if I want to oh, get them? I, can, I got them later. Oh, all right. Ship them? Can I get an autograph copy? Uh, Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> syndrome. Here we go. Tourette's syndrome. How do you get Tourette's syndrome? It's a problem with the nervous system that causes people to make sudden movements or sounds called tics. Not twitches, ticks that they can't control. For they example, should have called him t- the tick. Oh, look, look at, look. Let's go back first, please. Look at the, how I spell Tourette's. <laughs> to how it's really spelled. <laughs> Tor. Tourette's. Um, for everybody everywhere, because you can't see it even if you are on video, it's he wrote it T E R E T S. T S. S. Um, oh, you're I mean, you're right? live on Instagram. Yeah, I'm, I'm live on my little phone here. Got it. Um, and then uh, it's actually spelled T O U R E T T E S syndrome. syndrome. I just put Tourette's Sind. Sind, and it come up. And All it right. Just came so up. Tourette's syndrome is a problem with the nervous system that causes people to make this. Is what you just read. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> For people that didn't hear me say it. Sudden movements are sounds called ticks. They that they can't control. For example, someone with Tourette's might fuck you. That's what you just right. Someone with Tourette's might what? Oh, should I click on it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Click on the link. Here we go. I am not. I'm young Victor. WebMDS, bro. Here we go. For example, someone with Tourette's might blink or clear their throat over and over again. Some people may blurt out words they don't intend to say. <sighs> Treatments can control ticks, but. Some people don't need any any, unless their symptoms really bother them. Tourette's is a good cover for racism. Uh, a comedian once told me he has Tourette's, and I was like, oh, really? I've never seen you say anything. And he was like, it's mainly like if it's really hot out and, I'm waiting, in li- <laughs> and I'm waiting in <laughs> line for a long time. And I was like... Uh, I'm like, you're just hot and aggravated. You're just an asshole. Like, he's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, not everything can be diagnosed, bro. Like, well, what do they do with these people that have that? They, they lock, them, lock them away. Yeah. You got to get them off the away. streets. Hitler had a pretty good plan for him. <laughs> you got to get them off the Did streets. Did you know so. Hitler, every Sunday, Hitler went over Mussolini's house for spaghetti and meatballs? I believe it. They were pretty close, weren't they? Until... Hitler saw Mussolini hanging in Milan upside down. That's yeah. That, that'll that'll, that'll change a friendship. <laughs> that'll change a friendship. They, they they shot Mussolini at at him, getting away, but then they dragged him. They dragged him back. They cut him open, down. right? Then they like 
leak his it, guts it just, all over the town mistress, square. They just hung up. He's got pictures of him. Hung him upside down in Milan. I think we should do that to politicians today. I, you know what? I had ideas similar with, like this before, and it got me kicked off Facebook. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't come up with solutions anymore. Maybe my should solutions are the you? best. Yeah, don't tag me on Facebook. <laughs> on Facebook, I am official story only. I am not arguing with people anymore. Forget it, Chips. I want to be nice like Chips. Well, you got to. Uh, you got to. Yeah. You got to remember, everybody's different. You know, like everybody's got different. But they're wrong. Yeah, everybody's yeah. wrong, Chips. That's what we have to fucking fix. Everybody's, nobody's the same. <laughs> you know, uh, incompatible or. You know, I heard something interesting about Mussolini that, that you, since you brought him up. I heard um, Mussolini wanted to get out. Like, Mussolini didn't want to be part of the fucking group anymore. And Hitler went, like, got really high on amphetamines and went over there and just yelled at him. In <laughs> German, yeah. imagine how intense that was. Especially for an Italian. And fucking convinced him. He's like, hey, bugger the boo. Give me that. He's always like this, Mussolini. What an asshole. <laughs> Smug, huh? It's always like that when he's making speeches with his arm. You know who does this? And I told him, um, Mario. I said, what do you fucking stand like that for when you're on a stage? All genteel? Yeah. I said, you look like Mussolini up there. <laughs> he's like this. Just with the... But how do you... You know, he doesn't hold the mic? He just leaves it in the stand? Yeah, it's like uh, he doesn't even know. And now he's... Realizes he does it. I guess he do things. I was people doing say this that, that too, and I didn't know. People say that this, when you're like this, that you're kind of closed off. Yeah. Right. Well, at least that's how people perceive you. Or people perceive you. You want to like defending. open up, like you're yeah. looking for a hug. Hey, like a buddy, slut. look at me. Yeah. Hey, don't I seem? So when's this podcast start? This is where. This is what do you mean? <laughs> this is the podcast. This you want it. us to uh, ask you some. Uh, some important question. Yeah, let's talk. Let's do something. <laughs> yeah, just talk about this. How long you been doing comedy? How many years? About 40. 40 years. You've been doing comedy as long as I've been alive. Longer. Let's get that. Oh, no. You're, you're in the I'm 40s. I'm 41. Yeah, you're in the 40s. The roaring 40s. I was in comedy when, when you got paid for an open mic. I know. I used to have to hear this ten, all the t- every Tuesday. Ten dollars every Tuesday at Nikki's Bar and Grill, in Little Fair, New Jersey. Laugh it up Tuesday. Never. Chips would always rub it in my face that they got paid well, for open, it wasn't open your mics. Fault. It was the no, these are the these are the uh, these are the times we live in now. Yeah, you know, back then you used to go to Manhattan and drive around, hit about four places, make about forty bucks. How many people would be at an open mic back then? Like, how many comics? Did you have to sign up? You had to sign up. You had to be chosen. Chosen. Oh. You had to go there, yeah. sign up, and then they choose you. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, it was fun. But was there a lot of comics? There was guys from out of state that I don't see anymore. They used to come here and uh, drive a cab and... Uh, Go to this open mic, that there was. They were all over the place, mm-hmm. and then when it slowed down, they disappeared. Because I feel like now it's like the difference between then and now is like now we go. You go to before this Rona shit. You go to an open mic, especially the open mics around here, and it's fifteen, twenty comics minimum. Like at every open mic, was it like that back then? Yeah, there was a lot. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you, you know, you had to know somebody. You had to be funny and know somebody. You had to be lucky. Uh, Catch a Rising Star was about the biggest place going. and that in Princeton or New York? New York. At Manhattan. the time, right? Manhattan. And uh, uh, I used to go there a lot. You had to sign up. And uh, Kitty Bruce used to come there a lot, Lenny Bruce's daughter, 1982. And uh, Robin Williams used to come in there a lot. I got to be friends with him. And one night I saw uh, Dustin Hoffman come in with the, with um, Mary, what the, what the hell is his name? He was in Shampoo, the star. Shampoo, you got me there. Oh, he, he's, he's around now. Uh, he's married to... Oh man, I'm losing it. I'm losing my shampoo. Mind. I'm just gonna bring it up here. But did, how did you find open mics back then? There wasn't like now. If I want to find an open mic, I go to Facebook, New Jersey Comedy Open Mics Group, and there's a list. People post flyers. Everybody it's so easy to find mics. You go to the comic strip. They had open mic, 
you know, mm-hmm. during the week. So you just went to the clubs. There were no went to the club. There was no bar open mics, restaurant open mics. No, but the bars started having comedy with makeshift stages mm. and good pay too. Comedy was hot. And uh, God, I used to work just like anybody else, five, six nights a week. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, was that in New York? Robert that was Town? in New York. Warren Beatty. And, well, that's who I met. Warren, Warren Beatty, Beatty came in one night. Up. Shampoo. With Dustin Hoffman. I said, what are these two guys doing together? Getting huh? pussy. That's what those two guys are doing. Well, I don't know. Just crushing pussy. Kidding know. me? How many chicks were at their table? Huh? They, they, I, they, I didn't see them sit down. They just came, they, they were standing up when they came in. I think they did a movie together. And uh, they came in there. And uh, celebrities was, used to come in. Who was the headliner? Oh, I don't know. You mean at, at the at comic that show? Trip? Yeah. That's a real memory. Test. Gilbert Godfrey would headline a lot. Uh huh. And I just started out. At least I got on the list and got paid. They they used to put me up almost last. Yep. So you know what I started doing? What? I started wearing pajamas and bathrobe and slippers on the stage. Because it was so late? Because it was different? Yeah. Oh, and it was so late? Yeah, I would change downstairs. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got to get a laugh. What was your act like back then? I didn't have the magic yet. Ah, I, I no just illusions. used to do the, the characters and uh, fast food service. What do they mean by fast food? And then I have a real hamburger meat slapping on my forehead. I go, I'll have a hamburger here, please. <laughs> slapping on my forehead. And that was the act I used to do. Interesting. When did you get into the magic? Oh, Jesus. When did, when did the magic happen? I went home one night. Of course, I went home. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching repeats of Columbo. And Jack Cassidy plays a magician that kills the boss. But he wasn't doing a, a, a fucking thing in the magic. And, and he, he had the people lined up outside. He was supposed to be great. It was his attitude. But he wasn't doing anything. For an example, Colombo come to see him. He's sitting in the front. Jack Cassidy, the great Santini, uh, would lean over, he leaned over and grabbed a envelope out of Colombo's inside pocket. The fuck he had it in there. People used to go nuts. Then he'd be at a table. And uh, have the coins on, on underneath the uh, he was so it was so corny that I thought it was funny. He would have coins in the in the cloth like and then he'd go at a table and open up his hands and the fucking coins would fall out. People are going nuts and the and the reaction of the people, the camera all the time, reacting. He wasn't doing a thing. I said, this is funny. Yeah. Because yeah. of his attitude. His attitude was like, I'm the greatest. You can't do that if you're smiling. <laughs> yes. You can't, like, uh uh-huh, hey, how do you like that? Isn't, isn't that great? Ain't that funny? You got to pretend you're a real magician. David Copperfield saw me one night. He came to see Otto and George. He mm-hmm. loved Otto and George, but I was on the show. And uh, I did my magic. I came off stage. I didn't say, hey, Dave, how'd you like that? I came off there, just started flipping a few coins around, taking cards out of my pocket, and then taking them out of the other one, ripping it with a serious face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's trying to figure me out. So what the fuck is this guy kidding or what? And to make the story shorter, uh, I took a photo with him, and... Uh, I had it blown up, 11.14, went back the following week, and he signed it. I got it hanging up to Chips, the best magic in history, David Copperfield. That's amazing. That's what I, listen, anybody that's watching, if you get a chance, please watch Chips Cooney live, go to a show, and catch his act. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. I've watched Chips do his act, or parts of it, because you don't get the full act, all right, without without some bucks, but if the 
the um I've watched Chips act every single week for over a year and I was very fortunate enough to watch his stage presence and what he's talking about when he says he has to act like he's the best in the world. You it's part to. of the act because when he's up there and he's doing tricks and illusions that are funny, they're funny. I'm not going to give any of them away. They're funny and he's doing them, but he's doing them with a serious face and he's doing it like he's doing. But well, that's that's what Jack and Cassidy it's, it's did. It's just amazing. And watching people's faces that watch you, because I feel like I don't know about anybody else, but when you go and you work with comedians over and over again, you hear their act over and over again, you hear their jokes, you're not surprised by them anymore. I stop listening to you and I start watching the crowd. I'm watching crowd reactions. I'm watching to how people react to it. That's why I tell you sometimes. Remember I told you you were like you had took a line out of a joke that one time and I was like when you do that line people react so much better to it. And that's the thing. It's it's just crowd reactions. And when people when Chips is doing his act and he's doing these things and I'm watching people and people just love it because they see it and it's funny and then you see him and he's being serious it's, it's just you it's gotta very do good. serious it's very Jack good. Cassidy on Colombo the great Santini he was serious and he wasn't doing anything like I, and that's where I got the <laughs> idea what the fuck is he doing so serious that's great. he's got a bird on the knee already underneath the cloth takes the cloth off and the bird's there then you got a real card shock the camera shot is from the Elbow up, and it's a guy who really knows how to do the cards. Cut. Give Jack the cards. You know, he wasn't doing that. And uh, I did that on America's Got Talent, and then I heard somebody was was stealing my acts. That's the next thing I was going to ask you. I was like, have you seen anybody else do anything like that? I've he, never seen he, anybody he do He did. Like I got a 100 phone calls. So I called up America's Got Talent. I talked to... Um, Nigel, who was in charge of me when I was out there doing it. Mm -hmm. I said, Nigel, you got somebody here on TV? I got 100 phone calls that's doing, um, I got some. Oh, okay. That, that's doing my act. He said, well, it's similar. I said, it's not similar, Nigel. I said, it's exactly like it. Yeah, because he's doing maybe a different. And I said, how could, uh, one, what's his name, pass him like that? Uh, what's his name? Simon? No, not sorry. No, that's Howie. Howie, mind. Howie, uh, how that's Howie's brainchild is um, America's Got Talent. Yeah, he was one of the judges, mm -hmm. and I said, "How can he pass him?" So um, Nigel called me back the next day with the other producer. I said, "I'm not trying to sue you or anything, said, but how are you letting this guy doing the same thing I do mm -hmm. on America's Got Talent?" And uh, he called me back again. He says. Watch it next week, you'll be happy. So I watched it, and they didn't pass him anymore. It was some Jewish kid, couldn't even speak English. Exact, the same fucking props that I use. What? I, I bet he was from the circus. That's some circus shit. That's what people do in the circus, oh, just dude. rip their shit off? Oh, yeah. Well, they weren't able to do it with the dirt bikes. Mm -hmm. But um, most, 90% of acts people show up with, somebody at the circus just watches no, he, it. He saw, he saw me on TV. I mean, I did that on the Jerry Lewis telethon. I did it on the Roseanne Saturday Night Special, Drew Carey's HBO special, recently with Steve Harvey. And that's on Facebook. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. They kept me out there an extra week to do the reveal. That's the one when you're on the couch with him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was funny. That was, no, uh, it was funny when he was on the couch with Steve Harvey, and Steve Harvey's like, hey, Chips, how old are you? And Chips is like, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Uh, I, I Steve Harvey's like, what's I the matter? I reached over to him. He says, how old are you? And I went, my girlfriend's in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like girlfriends in it, but first he was like trying to like get Steve to not ask, and then Steve looks at the crowd like, "What is he doing? Like, what's the matter with him?" And he's like, "It's Steve." The, he announced it. He said, "Chip said it. he starts." And then, yeah, he starts laughing. He, he does said, one of "Chip those said his girlfriend's in the audience." Fall back. You got laughs. to stay in character all the time. Yes. If if, if you get out of character, I mean, uh, you don't get out of character. You got to stay in that character. It makes the character better. Like it's you. Yeah, you. The more you do it, the more like the more it becomes you. The more authentic it feels. Well, you gotta psych yourself up that mm -hmm. you're the best magician around. I, I, when David Copperfield, in my mind, 
I'm better than him. Yeah. Of course, David. It's a millionaire. I'm better than him. That's how you have to think. And that's how you have to think off stage. Unless you're out, you know, get to know him better and mm. you relax a little more. But uh, thank God he sent me home that night to watch that. He's such a ham, that Jack cat. And he, he, his attitude was like, he's the fucking best in the world. And he wasn't doing it. One trick. No. One trick. That was his. He had the cards behind Colombo's back. You play poker? I bet you play poker at the police station. The sergeant doesn't know. He says, I never play poker. Oh, what's this? No, the fucking cards are on his back. He pulls them out. The crowd goes nuts. Oh, you know, Columbo. <laughs> yeah. It, it was so corny that it was funny. Yeah. Because he wasn't doing anything. It was just his attitude. In the show, he was a Nazi. And the owner was going to turn him in. He used to be a Nazi. And a magician? Uh, no, the owner. It's just the club owner. And Jack Cassidy, yeah, the great Santini, was a Nazi when mm. he was younger. And the club owner knew he was going to turn him in, so he shot him. And that's how Columbo, you know, comes in. That's a great show, Columbo. You ever watched that show? Oh, he's that little just, fucking... uh, He was so annoying, like, to the bad guy. Mm -hmm. Because he would just figure everything out. He would figure out your whole scheme. But the way that he broke it, was like, and he was always playing dumb. So he'd be talking to you yeah. and be playing dumb. Like, he's like, oh, but I don't, uh, but why would you go over there? Like, he was, just uh, help me. He'd be like, help me out. Just help me figure something. I'll get out of your hair. You know, like he's telling the criminals. Oh, uh, I can uh, picture him now. Yeah, but, he had that yeah. little crook, yeah, like yeah, that yeah, crooked yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. And he'd be like, oh, well, I he just, had an eye missing. Right? Oh, that's what it was. It was yeah, a missing right eye. eye. I glass. thought it was a lazy eye. No, was, he had a glass eye. I thought that was a from, uh, I thought that I was as lazy as me. That fucking thing did not move on he its got own. That from birth, uh, and they had to just rip his eye out. So there you go. You're getting fucking. The class one. You're getting caught by a one-eyed detective who's playing dumb on top of it. And he's just he's like, got one ah, eye. Help me out here. He's very inspirational. A few more questions. I'll get out of your hair. That's it. And those questions will be the fucking daggers that locked you up for life. I like the chips like his one eye is very inspirational to people. <laughs> oh, the one eye when I do the... I never knew that. Too. I used to watch that show all the time as a kid. Columbo. Um, my eye when I do the bit. Which bit? No, you said the, him having one eye was inspirational to people? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that other show with Telly, Terry Savalas? Law and Order. No, the bald dude. Yeah, Telly Savalas. He was Law and Order? Oh, uh, no, he was Kojak. Kojak, yes. Now, I, I did background work one. for the when he came back again, Kojak. Yeah. And he uh, he had the slippers on. I guess his feet were swelling up because he died not too far after mm. that. He died now, I saw Tully. My ex-wife used to work at the track, and she said, "Guess who's here tonight?" I said, "I don't know who." She said, "Tully Tavares is here. He has a he has a uh, a horse running." I said, where is he? They said he's having dinner. So I went there to look for him. He walks right into me. I get so excited. I said, Sally. <laughs> that's what people call him, right, Sally? No, I, no, that's that's you I, I wish you were on tonight. I would love to roast you. Jesus Christ almighty. He is on tonight. I am on tonight. Yeah, but then you're not going to be roasted. No, yeah, people are roasting me. Listen, we're not celebrating my birthday. I get so excited. I ever. called him Sally instead of Telly. Oh, I thought that was like a... Oh, Telly is what people called him. That's his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Telly is his name. That was true. Not Sally. He might have been transgender. This is your know. guy. <laughs> 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 My God. <laughs> there, was a, there was a line in the movie... Right where the where the girl's like heartbroken and her boss is trying to tell her she's gonna hook her up. She's like, "Listen, you're gonna go go to my uh, what's the people that do the waxing, the vag waxing, uh, whatever they're called, the people that do the fucking vagina waxes." Waxers. She's like, "Go see my waxer. Tell fucking her fucking vagina. This is on tell her, television now. Tell her, listen, tell her you want the tell her you want the Telly Savalas 
and tell her I sent you. That's what she's <laughs> telling you because he's fucking her ball. Yeah. Tell her you want the Telly Savalas and tell her I sent you. Well, it was, it's t- I, call, I got excited. I called him Sally. Sally. Uh, good, good. Did he like it? Was he was he like a nice guy? He was brushed he like... me off when I said that. Greeks are real macho. That's what I, I figured. I call a girl's name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sally. That's what I saw it. And Greeks it, are real macho, but they love putting it in the butt. <laughs> Greek dudes. I heard that. You fucking do this stuff. I, say, I can't believe it. Where are you going with this shit? You're not going anywhere with that. This is what he did last time, too. He gets real mad. You're not going anywhere with them. stuff like that. Pussy and this, this and that. What the fuck? Is, and I'm you're married catering, and you got I'm catering to my audience, all right? There's a lot of 12-year-olds in here that want to hear pussy yeah, yeah, and sure. fart jokes, sure okay? They what like t- that what shit. What time does they start downstairs? Look, he already wants to leave. The it's show like, is 8.30. Eight thirty. When's Nikki getting here? They said eight o'clock. Oh yeah, eight o'clock. You're right. What Normally the they're. <laughs> <laughs> Normally all the shows are eight thirty here, but um, since he has twenty seven people, it's uh, at eight Jesus o'clock. They're saying I'm gonna get banned on Instagram too. Then I'm gonna have to come back. For with, what uh, you're saying. <laughs> have to come back as Manuel yeah. Cedeno yeah, you on can't Instagram. Say Manuel, talk. yeah, Manuel Cedeno follows all the rules. <laughs> 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 he, he, he goes with the official story. He is not. He does not believe conspiracies, dude. How? Why are you so good? And you grew up in a time when they weren't even watching everything that you did. What do you mean? Like, uh, oh, yeah, like, like we didn't, you don't have social media back then. Like, he's better suited for now than we are because we say wild shit all the time. Yeah, he's focused. And he's like, you can't do that. And he didn't even have the consequences <laughs> yeah. of where are you saying, where are you going with this? <laughs> where are you going with that? I don't know. Tell her Savalas, man. The vagina, the vagina wax. The vagina, fucking towards the vagina. No. <laughs> hey, listen, we're here on wood, but this is not a stage. I heard you on the stage just doing the same thing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're not wrong. All I talk about on stage is child abuse. That's you're a good looking guy. That's my thing. You got big broad shoulders. That's about all I got going but for what the trip. fuck that's, is the matter with you? <laughs> that's the end of that's the end of my highlights. You go up there and you just uh... Just have fun. That's you know what I used like to, to like Columbo, my nephew, and uh, he just overheard him one night and he was uh, only twelve years old. Eleven. Yeah, that's when I used to watch And him. he stopped. I said, what are you doing? He says, I like him. Colombo? He says, yeah. Well, all his notes were always scattered, and he's trying to read well, stuff. That's part of the disaster. character. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. basically like a, who's Monk. Yes, exactly. Monk is a modern-day yeah, ripoff yeah. of Colombo. 100%. 100%. What is, I missed that one. Monk it's, is uh, a, What's that guy's name? Tony Shube. So Tony like Shube. a real Jewish dude. Mm-hmm. It's a and TV he, show? Yeah. Yes. I've seen the name. Same thing, and he's a... He's a um, OCD, OCD, yeah. but he's a he's detective. A weirdo, Same but thing. He's a detective. He solves crimes, but he's weird. He doesn't play stupid. He's weird. Where like he, he has to move this stuff. Off. Well, it's, it's like, like it. yeah. It's like instead it. of him the being idea from him, probably yeah, yeah. I mean, listen. I'm sure they just rewrote it just with a little bit of a. What's what's the deal today? Oh, everybody's OCD. So that's what they made yeah, the yeah. guy. He goes. He goes into people's houses to interview them, and like he instead of talking to them about the, like the crime or something, he's fucking organizing their fucking cups. He's moving shit yeah. around, like he's or he can't touch shit. anything. He's yeah, got rag in his hand all the yes. time, trying to like he's a germaphobe. Move stuff. Well, and, if you watch the combo on the the first one, uh, they made it a movie for TV. Mm-hmm. The first Columbo, and I happened to put it on uh, a couple weeks ago. And he didn't develop his character yet as good. He His raincoat wasn't as raggedy. The cigar was always in his mouth, mm-hmm. you know, in, in the pilot. He didn't always have it in his mouth. And he didn't develop it yet. But as time went on, you can see he developed the character more. But well, at the beginning, he didn't. I wonder if he ended up being stupid from playing stupid so much. He died of uh, dementia. Did he? There Damn. you go. There you go. Fuck. Playing he that played, role gave him dementia. Played. He played right into it. That's what happened. It's terrible. I Google it. I just wanted to see how he died. I think he was 83. At least he lived a long life. 80s. 80s back then? That's fucking like Didn't remember anything. Now. That's yeah. the sad part. You don't remember the good times. Yeah. 
So what have you been doing lately? I haven't seen you in so long. Like, what are you? What have you been up to? Well, I'm trying to find a way how to uh, die earlier here. <laughs> Nothing. I just. Uh, Why don't you take up skydiving or something? Yeah, yeah me That'll skydiving. <laughs> what, can, what can I say? I um, there's nothing much to say. Just same thing. Everybody else work. Just being yeah. in the fucking house. Yeah, you can't do anything else. Have you got to see your grandkids? I don't have any grandkids. Not your grandkids, your nephews. You see what I mean? Your grandkids Godkids. make me look fucking older than I am. Kids. He's fucking, not old enough to have I'm, grandkids. Listen, I'm Puerto Rican. I know 20 year old grandfathers. Okay. <laughs> well, my uh, yeah, I see them often, but they don't want to hang around with me anymore. The 12 and the 13 oh. and 15 now. I used to take them to the park. Had a lot of fun with them. Used to love going to your house. And um, now they're older. On the phone. It's sad. Yeah. You go over kids. there now. Yeah, I'll even say hello. But I always bring them something. Ice cream, a couple bucks, two dollars each. Try to take the place of their father a little bit because he's not around. Mm. They'll, they'll, they will appreciate the shit out of that when they're uh, older. Yeah, like but you when look they're back, older, I'm more concerned about now. Yeah, thir- 12 and 13, you, you're fucking lost. You're not getting their attention unless, yeah, you're, thir- unless, unless you become an iPhone. 13 and 15. Unless you become an iPhone, they're not going to pay attention to you these days. I used to take them all over. No more. It feels like part of my life is empty now. Mm. I don't have as much fun anymore. You got to start doing drugs. Huh? You gotta start doing yeah, drugs. That's a good idea. The yeah. Selling do drugs. No, start doing drugs. Already. No, do them, not sell them. I do did, them again. did them. I mean, and maybe if you need extra money, I guess you could. Sell I get them. too paranoid with drugs, <laughs> especially pot. Can never smoke pot. I used to. Have sell, you eaten it? Huh? Have you eaten it? I used to make cookies with it. Yeah, maybe that's you need to bring that back. I made cookies one time, and I was hitting on this girl. This, this. Uh, Hat check girl. And a I what? Mean, a hat check. Hat check uh, uh, uh. girl. And um, yeah, I hit. I come on over. Came over to my apartment. Gave us some cookies. I took some. We I passed us, out. We stared at each other for three hours. <laughs> 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 we both got so fucking paranoid because when you eat those cookies, it's not like pot that stays with yeah. you a while. It's in your di- it's in your system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your body process and is you completely can't different. get as high smoking it as you can eating it. There's and no I way. I no made way. them again. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you use? Uh, it's just that the fucking high for me and them stayed with it for hours. Yeah. And That's uh, another thing. It stays longer and you're up there longer. It's yeah. not like you smoke. I feel like you smoke and like after like you a take half a little hour, ride, yeah. it just I tried you know, that. It dulls down. I tried acid Ooh. a couple of times. Give us an acid story. Well, you just what see, year? This was in the uh, 60s. Oh, you a got the good shit that, acid. You got the fucking Manson. At that, you got the acid Manson was taking. The good fucking acid. That I couldn't do drugs. I just used to get paranoid. You never tried like mescaline or anything cool? Or what was the other thing? Quaaludes? Peyote. Quaaludes I would try. Uh, yeah, I would how was that? Down the volume. Volume. Crushing volume was for oh, Valium. Valium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would crush it and snort it. I tried everything out. Um, but quaaludes, that's what we want to hear about because we can't. That's Another quaalude? She love me in the morning. They're uh, obsolete. They're done. Yeah. That. You can get some old expired quaaludes. <laughs> somebody, Where? Somebody I, don't has, I don't think you can. I'm just saying. No, somebody. we need a new chemist to remake them. You know, some people can handle that I'm about shit. to go back to school. Uh, you get guys like uh, Louis Armstrong. You heard of him? Yeah. He, uh, he, yeah, yeah. he didn't drink. He, he smoked pot. Mm-hmm. And when he played in the White House, when uh, Eisenhower... He was on Quaaludes? No, he oh. wrote he wrote a letter back to Eisenhower. This is in the 50s. It said, should legalize marijuana. They that's didn't listen to him. Time. Interesting. I got. I want to look that's that how, up. That's how uh, he, he was ahead of his time. Yeah, he was like, you but guys are idiots. he didn't drink. He didn't do any other drugs, just smoked pot. There some you go. Some people like it. Yeah. I can't fucking stand it. 
Bro. I can't handle we it. We like you anyway. Well, I can't right handle there. it. I, yeah. I don't knock anybody who's doing it. You know. I you think you're better than us? No. <laughs> I don't knock anybody who's doing that. Louis Armstrong. I remember the first time I smoked pot. This is Louis Armstrong asks Richard Nixon to carry his bags. Tell me about the first time you smoked pot. When was this? Who, me? Well, I was hanging around with this uh, jazz drummer in the jazz club because I played the drums, too. What year? I still played them. No, what year is this? This was in the 60s. Okay. And uh, Al's name was, he said, you smoke pot? I said, oh, yeah, so. We used to go on this break. We used to go for a ride. Pot Road, we called it. I'd smoke with him. Pot Road. Yeah. I used to smoke with him uh, maybe one, two, three, the fourth time. Fifth time. Smoked. Went back in the club. He's playing. And I'm in the corner, and it hits me for the first time. The pot. I started shaking. I got so fucking paranoid. Did you? Did you have to go up? No, I didn't. Oh. He was playing. Oh. But I did go up to him while he was playing. I says, Al, he said, what's the matter? I said, I lied to you the whole time. I, I never smoked pot before. And it just hit me. And he starts laughing. He says, I, <laughs> he says, go go in the corner and just listen to the music. And that's what I did. Yeah? And was it the best music you ever heard that night? Well, to calm me down. You should have chewed on some uh, really flavorful gum. Right? What kind of gum? Whatever. Bubble gum. Hey, we better get downstairs. Get down. We got to set up? Yeah, yeah. I got to set up. 720. So uh, Chip's going to take a longer setup than us. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have to set up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks, Chips. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for inviting me. I enjoyed it. Damn, you got a fanny pack? Yeah. Look at that. Sick. Where's your fanny pack, Rick? Mine's it's cold. Home, you could bring it back out. No, you know no what it's it for is? the I, summer. I wear mine in the summer because then I have my they jacket don't pockets. don't have as enough pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like story. When you got to go take a pee. He knows me. You got to take this off. And I'm in Walmart in November. Had to take a pee. Took it off. Hung it up. I walked out. Uh, uh-uh. Drove away. Five miles away. Uh. Oh, shit. I went all the way back. They had it. But the wallet was missing. Of course. Uh. And uh, I called up the cops. The Sea Caucus police came. I filled out a report. Called up fucking credit cards, everybody. About two weeks later, my godchild calls me. She says, you home? I says, no, I'm on my way to see you all. She says, go back home now. Somebody found your wallet in Union on the street. Union? Yeah, Union. I went back in my apartment and the super had it. Oh, fuck, they made it to Sea Caucus and Union. and didn't throw it out soon. I would have do that shit yeah, in the parking Nick, lot at Sea Caucus. It's fucking Nicky Petito. Five o'clock. Um, do you think that he noticed Upstairs, that... Um, coming down now. Do you think he noticed that he didn't have his fanny pack because he felt like super hetero? He's like, why do I feel so why hetero Why do I right feel now? so manly right now? <laughs> Nick, he said he's coming up. Here. All right. Well, we Good. gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get ready anyway. 7.30, it's, uh, or 7.20. I used to, I used to, are we still on? <laughs> yeah, all right, let me sign out. Thank you, guys. Um, Chip's going to tell us secret stories after this, so yeah. you guys can't hear this. Hold on, we'll sign out. Bye. Bye, everybody. Check out tiffscomedy.com for shows here at the dojo. Um, also, I don't know, maybe the email list. We're going to do some, like, uh, private type of very small gathering shows you're gonna have to dm for so uh look into that later people